Welcome back to our Teach Like a Champion technique series, helping teachers bring joy back into learning. Teaching is about doing things to help learners develop their understanding and skills. To facilitate learning in your classroom, proper lesson planning is important. An effective lesson plan outlines both what learners need to learn and how they will do it. When learners need to practice and master difficult skills, it is even more important to plan how they can do this. Name the steps is a great technique to help you and your learners. What is Name the Steps? The Name the Steps technique is about breaking down complex skills into simple steps that are easy to follow and remember. You can use this technique whenever learners need to perform a complex task. This applies to any age group and any subject. When you use Name the Steps technique, make sure that you make each step bite-sized enough to suit your learner's age and ability levels. Give each step a name and make it sticky so it's easy to remember. We call this sticky steps and we will look at this more later in the video. Remember to use these steps and names consistently. Let learners practice each step one by one until they feel confident before putting them all together. If a learner makes a mistake with the final skill, for example the answer to a sum, take them through the task step by step to identify where the misunderstanding started. Once you have broken the skill down into steps, plan how you will use the I do, we do, you do structure to help your learners practice each step. And lastly, remember to write these steps in your lesson plan. Why use Name the Steps? We use Name the Steps because it is much easier for learners to learn, practice, master and remember complex skills when they are broken down into small steps. When we make this part of our lesson planning, we think more carefully about how we will support the learning process. Each step can be demonstrated and practiced one by one. If a learner struggles, it is possible to find the exact problem by locating the step they don't understand yet. Skills are built up systematically, following a logical order. Therefore, this technique helps learners with their understanding and recall. How to use Name the Steps When planning Name the Steps, think carefully about the skill that learners need to learn, practice and master during the lesson. Ask yourself, what are the small steps that make up the skill and what name can I give to each step to make it sticky? Here are some ways you can make your steps sticky. Use keywords that all start with the same letter. For example, when comparing different types of animals, we have body, blood, breathing, babies. Or use keywords that make another word. Here we have made the word saws from the first letters of the seasons. Or use keywords that make a silly sentence. For example, when learning about the compass points, we have never eat silk worms. This helps learners remember the correct order. Use pictures, colors, sounds and or actions. You could also make charts or flashcards to display the steps around the classroom. Now it's your turn to try out Name the Steps. Remember these key takeaways. 1. Use the Name the Steps technique to make learning, practice and recall easier. 2. Break skills down into simple steps. Give each step a name and make it sticky. 3. To be effective, your steps should be easy to follow and easy to remember. 4. Each of the examples has an element of joy factor which makes them more sticky. 
5. Write the steps in your lesson plan. 6. Let learners see, practice and master each step one by one. If a learner is struggling, go back to the step they did not understand and move on from there. We hope you enjoy the name of the steps technique.